Welcome guys to my fourth video of money making guides. I'm Fredo is high. I officially changed my name from March 15 to Fredo is high. Now, um, this video may seem a little similar to my episode three, but I'm gonna explain a little bit more and how I do um, I make my money right now. All right, my main source of money making is use. Obviously, I have 89 wood cutting, and use right now are exactly. Um, 492. Okay. Um, when I chop use, I usually chop around um 224 u logs um per hour, and that makes 110k per hour, and and make I get 39k experience per hour. Um, now we have a low woodcutting level. Let's say you want to woodcut at like around level 75. A good thing to help out with summoning, you can summon a beaver and it will give you two invisible level boost. So let's say you have 75, you will be 77, but it won't show it, but you that's level you'll have. And um, the beaver, I think it, uh, you need like around 30 to get it, to use it I mean. And um, that's basically what I do. I use, this spot is um, the catherby and there's other spots too you could um, chop wood um, there's the grand exchange there's four um, u-log trees and there's in edgeville there's two and I think in the gnome village there's two or one I'm not sure but it's empty okay um, now I'm gonna show you uh, monkfish. Now, monkfish right now is exactly 377. Uh, may not see much. Users are more profitable, but if woodcutting is not your thing and you have a higher fishing level like mine, like this, and monkfish is some good money. Now, I'll show you how to get to the monkfish area. Uh, Um, use only require level 60 wood cutting and it, I also recommend to use a strung rabbit's foot which will increase your chance of getting a bird's nest alright and to fish monkfish you will need to have done the swan quest uh, um, swan song sorry you need to complete that, and monkfish require level 62 fishing to catch them. Sorry, it's a little laggy. Alright, just use any fairy ring. You don't have to use it, this one, but I, I like using this one. This is the closest one. Alright, oh yeah, I need a... You need a lunar staff or a uh, drumming staff to use a fairy ring but if you've done the fairy ring part 3 you don't need any of those items now the code is AKQ um, it will save it in travel log and just teleport to that location now that you're here you go you run north also if you need a uh, uh, renew your summoning points. There's climb down that trap trap door right there. Okay, keep going north and go down this hole through the gates, and then here you are. You're in the monkfish area. Now, when I fish monkfish, um, I catch around. Um, like a hundred and ninety six monkfish per hour, and that makes seventy three k per hour and twenty three k experience per hour. Um, what I recommend so you can get um to catch monkfish faster. Um, you should use an ibis pouch. Requires fifty six summoning. 
Let me get rid of the beaver first so I can show you. Also, the beaver, when you're chopping, it gives you random logs and planks. Oh, well, I dropped the pouch. Okay. Summon it. And it will, the, the reason I use the Ibis is because it gives you three invisible fishing boost levels, just like the beaver. And the uh, Ibis will give you swordfish. Only swordfish for some reason. And so yeah, so you catch um your monkfish fast like that. And there's a bank right over here. Here's a bank, and that's it. Easy money. Doesn't take long. Now I'm gonna show you guys my uh, weekly items. My weekly loot, I mean. All I've done for the week, like last week I sold. Right now I'm in, um, oh no, that's not right. I guess because I, I bought a, what was that, this, the spear. I'm going to sell it right now. I already don't need it. I can't sell it. Oh, there we go. Okay, got my money back. Alright, I was at 10 mil last time. If you watch my other video. Okay. Here we go. Also, this is from my kingdom. As you can see, I have some swordfish in the ibis. Also, what I did for chopping use, what helped me a lot, I did evil trees. Because it gives you the ability to um, bank logs um, once you have a full inventory. And it'll bank them automatically for 20 minutes or more. Depending on how well you do on the evil tree. It gives you random rewards like nest, two of half keys, and random logs like these magics and mahoganies um, I always forget to crush the nest, I'll do it later alright I'm back with my crush nest here we go, I'm gonna sell all my items oh god, nests have gone down As you can see, I got really lucky this time with my kingdom. I got two magics. Alright. I'm selling my stuff that I got from Evil Trees. Sorry for that. Mm, 400k. Thirteen mil. Alright guys, I'm gonna wrap up this video right now. 
please leave a like, um, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Um, thank you guys. Hope you all enjoyed my video. And bye.